Welcome, welcome. This is Blunts and Gems. I am Sam. As you can tell by the camera angle, we are here for a review video. Um, first off, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing and sticking around for a while. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your support is always appreciated. Um, first off, I'm going to give my disclaimer and then we will get into this review video. Um, first things first, you guys know my channel is not meant for anyone under the age of 18. It's not meant for pro clutchers. It's not meant for negative Nancy's, bad vibes, bad energy. None of that is allowed here. Also, this is a 420 friendly channel. So you may or may not hear me smoking during this review video. If that is a problem for you, this is not the channel for you. Um, if you don't have a problem with that, grab your whip, your work in progress, or whatever craft you're choosing to do, um, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to do all of the youtube -y things like like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And that's pretty much it. That's the disclaimer. That's all. Um, if you have an issue with any of the things I said in the video, um, y'all already know to exit stage of left and to not leave y'all opinions because I like to argue. Um... Otherwise that, let's get into this review video. Now, let me grab my iPad. This canvas is Midnight Laundry Mat by Ivy Dolamore. Um, it, was, it is 56 by 74 centimeters, um, 63 colors, four ABs, and it is a square drill. I started this February 1st of this year and I did not finish until April 3rd of this year. But, um, it's finished. We we made it through it because baby almost didn't think I was going to make it. Not even going to front. I didn't think I was going to make it. Not for the fact that the canvas had any issues because the rendering is gorgeous. Um, the drills were great quality. Um, it had a great amount of color blocking and confetti. Um, there was a little gapping in the canvas, but not a big issue. Um, me, it's my ADHD. I get bored easy. Um, I have the same issue with almost every canvas I do, no matter what the size. As soon as I get close to finishing it, I start to get antsy. So, um, that's pretty much what happened in this situation. I just got antsy and wanted to finish really fast when I just had to finish at the pace that I finished at. And now we're here. Um, I'm not by far um, a speed diamond painter or consider uh, diamond painting to be a race or participating in any events, mine's included. Um, I don't expect anything to be a race. I don't try to race myself. Um, I don't recommend it, um, but to each his own. I diamond paint at my own leisure. I really do it for fun. Um, this canvas had a lot of pink and purples for anybody that um, has a particular favorite color when it comes to canvases mine is purple um, and it just had all the pretty purples I could think of um, I absolutely adored uh, working on this canvas I really truly my favorite part was her skirt and her hair um, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys and I'm going to show you guys where some of the ABs are in this canvas. Um, and quick disclaimer, bear with me because y'all know I'm not no damn director. So we're not even going to go there. Um, as far as the pink and purple and blue ABs, there's a lot over here um, in her hair in the blue here um, and the purple up in here in the pink. Um, there was some ABs over here in the, uh, laundry itself, some blue ABs. There was also some blue ABs inside of the laundry bottle. Um, there was not a lot of ABs in the, um, washer and dryers, but there is a lot of ABs up here at the top in the um, sign and in the door handle. There's a lot of ABs up there. Um, 
there was no ABs in her hair. I do believe there are ABs in her fingernails. Um, there is none in her jewelry on her hand. Um, but there is a few here um, in her skirt in this um, area here and up in here. There's a lot of ABs. Um, there was none in her shoes, which I'm fine with that. I honestly think this canvas had the um, perfect amount of AB spread throughout. Um, it was a great canvas to work on. Um, like I said, I had a blast. I did it for my event, um, hashtag DP for Black History Month. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as this review um, here in a few, I'm going to come back with another canvas because I am to make this video longer. I am going to do the two ABs that I, the, I don't ABs, Lord have mercy. Uh, that's what you get for smoking before you record. Um, I'm going to get the other canvas that I finished for the month of April because I have finished two diamond art clubs. The other one is a snack size. So give me just a few seconds and I will be back, you guys. See you in a few. Peace. All right, so you're, I'm back, you guys. I just realized that I actually hung this picture up on my wall um, right before the Easter party. So much of this review will be done from standing right here. Um, this canvas was... I believe 35 colors to a B's um, and both of them being like a white color. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the a B's are here and along the petals here and in the background. Um, this canvas did not have very many a B's, um, although I think it had the perfect amount of a B's for the size um it is a round drill as well and it is from diamond art club i do not know how old this canvas is it does not have an artist it just said buy diamond art club on the um box so that's what i'm gonna go with um and it had pretty much every color imaginable but it was really heavy on the blues the background was a little hard for me to work on because I am not a color blocking girl. I am definitely a confetti girl by heart, um, but I got it done. I'm proud of myself for getting it done. Um, I really didn't have a washi tape to match to go around the border, but the one I picked or the one that you guys see here around the border um, was the closest flower that resembled a rose. So that's why I used it. Um, Color definitely did not come into play because I have no no blue washi tape with flowers, apparently. So, whatever, whatever. Um, and I think it turned out perfect. I think it's beautiful. It turned out great for the size. Um, even when you zoom in, you can still tell um, that it is a rose and that um, it doesn't get very pixelated, which is absolutely amazing. This is why... Uh, your girl is a DAC snob. Uh, yes, I said it. Um, argue with your mama. Argue with your kids that don't listen to you. Um, but don't argue with me. I like what I like. Um, it's my opinion. Um, if you like something or a particular company that you, I'll support it. So just, just support me and my craziness. Um, but this is the second canvas that I finished for the month of April, and I believed I finished this one. Today is the 11th, and I finished this one probably Thursday. So that would have been mm, the 7th, 6th, maybe. Maybe the 6th. Yes, I finished this April 6th. Um, I did start it before April 1st. I think I started it March 30th or March 31st. So it only took me a week or so to do this one. Um, but I am pretty fast with snack sizes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on this part. Well, this canvas and this part of this review video, um, I will be back in a few 
to add the third canvas that I've finished so far this month, which is an Amazon canvas. It was gifted, so I really don't know where the company comes from or blah, 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 but I'll be back in a few. See you guys in a minute. Peace. Um, how many I've completed so far for the month of April. Um, and really fast because I completely forgot because I'm moving around so much. Um, here is the trash drills for Midnight Laundry Mat, which weren't a lot um, for that canvas size. So perfect amount, honestly. Um, and one more. And here are the trash drills for Rainbow Rose. Like I said, also not a lot for a canvas that size, which is perfect. Um, ignore my son in the background because y'all know y'all are going to always hear him no matter what. He's a busy body. Um, now for, like I said, the last and final canvas. Um, this was a gift. Um, I believe the company it come from it comes from is L Zays or L W Z A Y S. Um, I completely forgot who gifted it to me, so I apologize in advance. If you gifted this to me and you see this video, um, here's the trash drills for this canvas. Definitely not a lot either. Um, this is one of the better Amazon canvases that I have been gifted or I've purchased. Um, because let's be real, when we all start diamond painting, we don't immediately go to the premium companies because we really truly don't know. Um, so this one had 32 colors, no ABs. Um, it was a 30 by 40 centimeter. Um, I started this one on April 1st and I finished it, um, April 9th. So, took me about eight days. I did stop it when I got halfway and finished Rainbow Rose. Um, so, that's why, you know, it took me eight days to finish it. Um, do I buy Amazon Diamond Paintings anymore? No, not unless um, I just really, truly need it. Um, but... I still enjoyed working on this canvas. I think the quality is good for the canvas size. Um, and really fast before I forget, um, Rainbow Rose was a 32 by 32 centimeters. Um, and of course I told you guys it was round drill, 35 colors, two ABs. Um, I really didn't write down anything for the Rainbow Rose canvas or this canvas, but both of them were a dream to work on. Um, drill quality was great, exceptional, um, rendering was pretty good, pretty decent. I think both of these had good rendering, rendering quality. Um, Amazon, of course, is slightly not as good as Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club is a lot better in this case, but I still think this one turned out pretty good for an Amazon, um, canvas. Would I recommend it? Definitely for a budget-friendly person. Like I said, that company is LWZAYS is the company that this canvas came from. It didn't really have a name. Um, I named it by the, the model it has on it, which is Let It Be. And if you're hard of seeing or you don't know what this is, it is a garden gnome holding a joint and a marijuana leaf. Uh, sitting down what looks like on the ground because that is brown and I assume that's dirt um, underneath this above the saying let it be um, absolutely fun to work on um, I even breeze through all of the black color blocking and y'all know that 310 and 939 are like I hate them with a passion um, t definitely top two most dislike colors, um, but they're in every canvas almost, so they're really hard to beat. Um, but I did speed through this one with my 10. Um, I think my 10 and my four placer definitely helped me get through this one. It was a breeze to work on. Like I said, the quality um, is pretty decent for a canvas of this size. 
um, and I can still bring it really close and it's still not that pixelated. So um, I absolutely enjoyed working on this canvas as well. These are the three canvases that I've finished so far for the month of April. Um, I didn't really have any completions in March. If I did, I've probably already done a review video for it. Um, but I figured instead of making three short review videos, why not just make one long review video for all three? Because like I said, honestly, I'm working on Hazel's World right now for Dakotathon. So I don't think I'm going to finish any other canvases in between now and May. So this is all your girl got for y'all. Um, of course, if you're on Patreon, you will see this video today, which is Tuesday. Um, and if you're on YouTube, you will see this video Wednesday morning sometime. Um, I'm excited to be back recording again because I did take a week break um, to plan an Easter party, our second annual Easter party, which was a success, of course. Um, those pictures are on Facebook. If you happen to follow me or we are friends, if you want to see how that party turned out. Um, and of course, I will talk about it um, in my weekly whip and chat and in my weekly whip and bullshit for Patreon. But of course, Patreon will know first. So if you're not on my Patreon, what are you doing with your life? Honestly, I, I don't know if you don't know. So um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys for this video. Um, tomorrow I will be recording hashtag support small business. Um, of course, I'm not going to tell you guys who it is. You will just know when you see the video. Um, I'm going to get off of here and get out of you guys' hair. I'm going to leave you guys what I always leave you with, which is please be kind or be quiet. And if you can't be quiet, you already know, baby, keep it real. Um, and as far as these canvases, reviews, I give them all 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.